Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate marbles falling into a vase. This is using simple mass effects. So what I did was I created a vase using a spline and the lathe modifier and added a nice turbo smooth to it, dragged out a plane, and made a handful of marbles. They are all instances of each other and are stacked on top of one another. So what I'm going to do is, first things first, I'm just going to convert this to an editable poly to get rid of some of the hierarchy there. And I'm going to right click on my toolbar, get my mass effects toolbar here, and I want to set my vase as a static rigid body. This means that it is colliding with the other objects, but it is not necessarily, uh, it's not completely interacting with them. As you notice, this white bounding box comes around it. Um, what you want to do is you want to change that shape type to original in this case. It's a unique shape and doesn't necessarily fit any of the preloaded options on here, so original is what we're going to make it. And I'm going to select one of my marbles, and I am also going to make that a dynamic rigid body. Since they are instances, that will apply to all of the marbles, so you don't have to worry about doing that with every single one. And for the shape type of the marbles, you want it to be a sphere, and you're going to see that mesh load around the sphere now. And last but not least, with my ground plane here, that is also going to be a static rigid body, and the shape type is box. I um, must draw a plane, so that should work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize my perspective viewport here. And remember, when you're working with Mass Effects, it does you no good to press the play button in your animation toolbar here. What you actually want to do is go up to your Mass Effects toolbar, and you want to press the play button. What you're going to see are a bunch of marbles that are going to fall into the vase here. Some are going to splurge over. You can watch that happen. Alright. So if we take a look inside of the vase here, um, we will see a bunch of marbles that are sitting nicely in there. Alright. If you wanted to do this with a with another object or with more marbles, which I welcome you to do, um, just make sure that your shape type is set to original and that way all of your marbles can easily fit in there. This is a really good tutorial to use or a good reference to use when you're working with anything falling into a confined space. You do just want to keep in mind that if any of these mar marbles were larger they would have the possibility of spilling out. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. Let's just select a few here at a time. I'm just holding down the control key and selecting multiple at one time. I'm just going to deselect my plane. And let's go ahead and scale these up. Alright, so that gives us a better idea. It's a little bit more randomized. I'll go ahead and delete a couple of these that found their way down here. That's okay. So now if I hit the play button here, you're going to see a different thing happen. So you have some that are falling out. You have some that are also falling through. I'll show you what that looks like again. Might help if I delete some of these in here. So let's hit play. And if you notice, 
down here we have some marbles that are falling through. This may happen to you. The way to fix that is I will go back here to reset the simulation and to my vase I'm going to add the shell modifier and what this does is if you bump up that inner amount, let's just say 3 in this case, maybe 4 doesn't really matter, um, the extra geometry is going to help contain your marbles. So let's play that simulation again. And what you're going to notice is there are no marbles that fall out. They're all nicely contained inside of the bowl here. And if you want to have the effect of the marbles hanging off to the side, that's okay too. That's a personal preference. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.